What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be learning um, the, actually we're going to be doing the Java Beginners Module 2 quiz. So I hope you guys have been following along in the series. If you haven't, please go back and watch the entire series so that you are more equipped to um, do this quiz. But if you, but if this is your first time, um, feel free to watch this video and see if I provide value. If I do, please subscribe, please like the video. And yeah, I'm glad to help you guys out. And if you guys help me out as well, I appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So right here, we have the first question. It says, fill in the blanks to output pass if the grade value is greater than 70 and failed if it's not. So if, if grade is greater than 70, then we passed. Else, we failed, basically. <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory, not that difficult. Here, um, scanner, because you're defining a scanner here, and then you wanna print the name of the scanner. And then um, right here, what do you guys think is going to go right here? Personally, I think it's an if statement because you have two conditions or two um, conditions, yeah, and you're comparing them. And let's read the prompts just so we know. So, so I did this without even reading the prompts because I knew the syntax. So that just shows like if you keep practicing and practicing, you won't even need to read the prompt and you'll still understand what's going on. So it says drag and drop to create a program that takes a number as an input and checks to see if it's in the range of one to four or one to five. In this case, uh, in case it is, then output correct. Okay, so the program already outputs correct. We just need to find if it's and or 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 and <laughs> and we can actually do this by using the and because if we put or right here it's gonna mess it up um and make sure you guys know this is the symbol for and not the actual word and because this is programming not english so get used to the syntax it's gonna be here for a while now this is fill in the blank to create a loop that outputs the all of the numbers from 1 to 100 except the number 42. So I don't know what 42 did, but we can't output that. So we'll do four, and then right here is a semicolon, and then we'll do an if, and then we output x. Perfect. How many numbers will the following while loop output? No. So I want you guys to pause the video, grab a sheet of paper, and basically trace this loop without me saying what it's going to be like without me doing it so just so you guys get practice because a lot of people what they do is they just rely on chat gpt or just videos to get them through but if you actually practice if you actually know what you're doing you won't need all the extra help so that's just my recommendation but for this we have x is equal to eight so we check if x is greater than zero, which it is. Print it out, minus three, now x is five. Same thing, check, yep, print it out. And it's greater than zero. Then we're going to do the same thing for five, minus three, to print it out. 2 is not greater than, that means that we print out 3 numbers and voila, we're done. So the switch statement basically says, um, honestly this is just um, syntax, this is syntax, so I'm just going to go ahead and input everything here so that um, you guys aren't bored. 
Oops, I used K, sorry. And that should be it. So we have case, semicolon, case, yeah, break, break, case, break. Perfect. And voila, we're done with this day two. There we go. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. And please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.